hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is faith and today guys i'll be checking out bill may her guest land by candace owens as she exposes his hate for donald trump and you guys i'm excited for this if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about this is not just your show it was even my show i think it, it, it everything was about trump Everything was about Trump. I agree. Right? And it wasn't that it's never been that way for any other president. Never, and not everything was about His Obama. Other presidents no, I, weren't a nut like that. I see a Candace on Bill Maher. <laughs> this video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the last day that I'm going to allow the people that want to do the donation thing to use the code. I forget the code. Oh, it's, De it's Deuteronomy, D-E-U-T-6-4. You put that code in. The people that use that code, I'm going to give proceeds from just those purchases to go towards the International Fellowship of Christian and Jews organization that gives aid um, to people in Israel that are suffering from the attack that occurred. And also all the other residual effects like older elderly people that need assistance, some of the soldiers that need food and clothing and shelter and different things like that, that they're needing as they're fighting for their lives to be a continue to be a free state. So um, if you want to be a part of that, go ahead and get you one of these shirts. It's the last video I'm going to do it. Then I'm going to, then I'm going to calculate how much we're going to donate to that organization um, after today. Like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, ladies, I haven't watched this video yet, so I just want you to know I'm watching it for at least this clip for the first time. Obviously, my my, my people prepared this, um, and I'm pretty sure it's a great, incredible clip with her and uh, Bill Maher. Also, Candace already told me what happened, right? Because she already, she pretty much told me how it was, but I didn't see it. So she was like, you, wait till you see it. It was, it was crazy. It was crazy. And she said she pushed back on him on a few points. Um, and, and you know, what I often wonder is, would he treat a man differently than he treats a woman? But Candace don't play that. So I'm pretty sure this turned out to be a pretty good interview. So I'm going to play a little bit of this. We're going to watch this together. And uh, y'all hold the phone. Roll it. This is not just your show. It was even my show. I think it, it, it everything was about Trump. Everything was about Trump. I agree. Right. And it wasn't that it's never been that way for any other president. Never, and not everything was about His Obama. Other presidents no, like, weren't a nut like that. Uh, we, we have definitely, I think, I, I believe that there, and, and we can disagree on this. I think that from the second he announced that he was coming down, there was a media obsession with taking him down. Like I have never seen it. It actually 100%. woke me up. I was on the liberal side there, and it turned me into a conservative. It was vicious. It was there, nasty. It was there calling was, him but things that, that he wasn't. There you was, know, but you didn't that's participate a, in that. But, but there was, that Trump was like a, a vowed racist that was trying to bring back the Klansman okay. was a little bit like dramatic, you know? But, but that happens with every president and everybody who gets that high up in the tree. You know, when, I, I don't know how far back it goes, probably to George Washington, when a person is the one who's going to be in power, the people who want to prevent that, who think oppositely of how he thinks or she thinks, Yes, that's what they do. Oh, they try to destroy. They didn't try to destroy Obama. Not in the way that they come on Trump. You had the Lisa Bloom oh, period where oh, you had Candace. 85 million women that came out of the woodwork with allegations. Where were you guys? He's been in the public sphere for the last 30 years. He's had shows. Where were you guys with your allegations before he announced running president? I mean, it was so obviously a ratchet job. And these things matter to you because it doesn't well, matter. One of them's on it doesn't tape. matter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she got a point there. Right? And it came after Obama. And, and no, they didn't. Not like that. Who said that Obama raped him? Come on, man. People make that stuff up in a Trump. Trump raped her in a Trump raped a girl in a in a changing room. I mean, what the f ain't nobody that's man, Trump All right. He a billionaire, man. Them girls let him get on the plane, they'll let him do the freaky neaky. Quit acting like y'all don't know what's going on out here. He had to take her in a changing room. Man, Trump, these women. Listen, not the good ones like y'all. Y'all married women, y'all perfect, y'all going to heaven without even dying. Not talking about y'all. I'm talking about these other women that are what we call gold diggers. That's a real thing. Women would do anything for a person with money. That's why Donald Trump said on the Access Hollywood tape that, you know, it, they let you grab them by the, you know what? If you if you if you the man, they let you do it. Go look go look at go look at somebody DMs that that, that got a lot of money. Go look at Chris Brown DMs. <laughs> they'll do anything 
<laughs> these he, he, men ain't got to rape these women. Mm-hmm. Anyway, wrote a clip. It doesn't One matter. of them's right from the horse's mouth One saying, them, I grabbed He didn't say I grabbed he, he was, did! He said, these. he was talking about groupies. He said, they will literally Ro- let you do anything, including grab well, them by the... He wasn't talking word. about groupies. Yeah, he was. He never said that word. He said, when you're a star. Yes. That, that, that's that's quite a leap to say, we're just talking about groupies. And by the way... He didn't si- say, I grabbed this woman by the P word. And I think that that's a part of what I say, and we have there's he, so many media hoaxes. Just be honest. He said, you can you grab never- them by the... P-. He said, you can grab them by the... P-. Yeah. And... You can do anything. You can grab yeah, them by girls, the Yeah, these girls, when they see a star. That, that's literally, by the way, just to be clear, that's a fact. But just to be clear, you <laughs> shouldn't do that, But right? you shouldn't, yes. But I, but let's just be honest <laughs> yeah. about what he said. This is locker room talk. Men right. talking about, you know, I hang out with a lot of athletes, about women that throw themselves on them simply because of who they are, and they'll let you do anything to them. But we do live just, in this, this so you know, say. Just to put economy it, of women who will quite literally let men, especially now with the birth of OnlyFans and TikTok and the rise of becoming a star, that if you are a star, they will let you do whatever they want. And then the media pretended that he said, I personally went in and grabbed a woman by the P word. It's, it's, it's a lot of people I'm talking. Is it crass? Yes. Do women also speak crass when men aren't looking? Yes. I'm very much, you know, I'm, I'm not saying this is great speech. And I would love to hear if my husband was saying this about, you know, but I'm just trying to be rational well, and not be like me too crazy and acknowledge that both men and women have locker room talk. I have an important question. Where can I find these women? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Where can I find you? <laughs> this is- anyway, I think that was a good clip. That's a little excerpt. I'm gonna, I'm, we're going to share the full thing so you guys can watch the full thing if it's, if it's even available. Um, we'll, we'll share it with you so you can watch the rest of it. But I thought that was incredible. I think Candace did a really good job at, you know, I, I can't play the whole thing, guys, because then they'll, they'll ban me or something. But I thought it was incredible to get a snapshot of it. I thought Candace did incredible. And I'm going to tell you all this. This is the inside of Scoop, right? Most people don't know this unless you're, you're you're close to Candace, and obviously me and Candace are like brother and sister. She is very difficult <laughs> to argue with. I'm opinionated. I'm a I'm a dog, right? I, I, I argue. I get tired of arguing with myself, and Candace is worse than that. I was arguing with her, making a, making a murderer. The, the the documentary she did. We were we were in France. And we were in the pool, and it was a lot of us out there. And Candace just don't take no for an answer. She she just will not accept <laughs> you just saying something that, that she disagree with. She will argue you, and I have never in my life met a person that can match me in argument. Like if me and Candace got into a disagreement, we would Candace would prob we would probably sit for twenty four hours and argue about it. It'll be nighttime, everybody's going to sleep, but but me and Candace will be like. Well, no, but what, what, what about this, though? Well, what about this, though? So I know Bill Maher is the reason why he ain't just, yeah, yeah, yeah. he can't. He can't. Candace is convicted about something. She is going to hammer you over the head with it. And the thing about people like Candace, and I, I would say myself, but Candace got a special gift, is that she's right, though. That's the thing that 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 makes separates Candace from other people that are good at, at debating and negotiating things is that Candace is right and then she have that it factor of like she can she will argue you till you quit till you cry and curl in a ball and, and want to give up and concede she will keep going it don't matter if she twi- if she pregnant with five babies in there she she going to get it and get it and get it until you succ- until you give up that's what I love about Candace. But anyway, I thought I'd give y'all a scoop. It ain't easy. Y'all, y'all see it at these little events, and it's just like one way. You go one-on-one, that's, that's your nightmare. And if you got dirt or you slipping, oh, she going she gonna to get you. People be, people be quitting the internet over arguing with Candace. Anyway, y'all going to watch the rest of it. Shout out to Candace. See y'all on the next one. I'm out. You guys, that was such an interesting one. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this one. Do you think Bima was deliberately avoiding the truth after knowing what Donald Trump has been going through since he started running as the president? Do you think that what Donald Trump faced this past month, every other president faced the same thing like he said? Let me know your thoughts on this one. I know that Candace Owen 
is always stating the facts and i love that for her i really enjoyed reacting to officer tatum react to candice owen and buma it was such an interesting session and i enjoyed every minute that it lasted if you guys totally enjoyed watching give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys